Today's lesson is sponsored by, by Sell Direct Ghana. Do you want an easy way to sell your goods and services? Don't worry, Buy Sell Direct is here for you. We will help you to sell and buy goods and services at affordable prices. Just upload your information to Buy Sell Direct. Sit back, then relax, and we call the clients for you. You can reach millions of buyers and sellers from the comfort of your home. On our website, you will find goods, services, apartments, houses, hotels, jobs, catering, pets, electronics, vehicles, education, furniture, fashion, and more. Just advertise with us, then relax. We will call the clients for you. Hello. Today we are looking at the ING triplets part two. This is a follow on from the last lesson. Now, remember, not every word you see ending in ING is a verb. We have grouped these words into three. Number one is the ing ending, which is a verb. Before you decide that the ing is a verb, the rule is that the verb or the ing must have at least one auxiliary or helping verb. Look at these examples. The soldiers are marching. There is the auxiliary are. So when we see marching, we know yes, this is a verb, the continuous form. At 10, my husband was sleeping. There is the auxiliary was. Therefore, sleeping is the continuous form of the verb. Our friends will be going home tomorrow. Going, we know, is a verb because it's got two auxiliaries, will be. She would have been driving. There are three auxiliaries here, would have been. Therefore, this driving, this word driving, is the verb form or a continuous verb form. ING number two. This is where we are talking about gerunds, where the ING is working as a noun, naming something. Okay? Now, I think cooking is as easy as swimming. Yeah, cooking is naming something, the name of the activity called cooking. So cooking here is a gerund. Swimming also is a gerund because swimming is also the name of the activity. I'm sorry I didn't put this in blue. He is paid for shouting all days. Shouting is the name of that thing for which he is paid. So there's another gerund or noun. Nobody will enjoy standing for 10 hours. Standing is that thing for uh, that thing which nobody will enjoy. So it's the name of the thing called standing. Another gerund. 
Reading is my hobby. Reading is the name of that thing which is my hobby. Therefore, reading is a gerund. The third ING group is where we have a present participle. The present participle is an ING word which is working as an adjective. Otherwise, an ING adjective or an ING which is describing a noun. After all, an adjective describes a noun. Look at these examples. Put on your dancing shoes. We have dancing, which is ending in ing. This is describing shoes because it tells us what type of shoes we're talking about. He bought an ironing board. Ironing board. He bought a board, which is the name or the noun. Ironing is defining or telling us more about the board, which type of board it is. I need your listening ears. I need your ears. Yes, I need something. Something's called ears, but then they are listening ears. So listening describes the type of ears which I need. Now, this is your takeaway. Read and listen. Today's takeaway. In each of the following sentences, an ing word is underlined. Which is which? Verb noun adjective. My friend has a racing car. He is racing now. He loves racing. Thank you for another lesson. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.